Welcome to Full Court Fits, the show that takes you around the world of NBA fashion while also bringing you the latest, greatest, biggest news in sneaker culture today. I'm Big Waz. Let's go. All right, first up in Copper Drop, I want to talk about this tandem of Celtics teammates because they're wearing similar outfits, but I got to give props to one person over the other, and I'll get into it as to why. But we got Daniel Tice and a Dolce & Gabbana matching set of hoodie and shorts with some Jordan 4s, the military joints that just dropped, and Grant Williams, who's rocking a matching hoodie and shorts set with some Amiri kicks. I'm dropping Daniel Tice because, like... This is an $1,800 outfit that is just kind of, like, I don't get the zebra print. We all over the place, the matchy-matchy. I'm good. And you spent $1,800 to, to achieve this nonsense. And look, while Grant Williams, you know, I don't think this is the most stylish outfit. At he, least his is more cost-effective because he copped this from a brand called 20. Bottom line is, you can get this from H&M Zara if you want to for even cheaper than what 20 is selling it for. So I'm going to give it to Grant Williams for achieving the same look while being way more frugal. So I'm copping his, dropping Daniel Tice. Stop with the label whoring. Next up, another Boston Celtic. And I know this shit is getting kind of redundant, but we're in the finals. There's not that many guys to choose from, guys. Bear with me, please. Next up, we got Jason Tatum, head to toe in the Myers. These cats have been around for a little while. They're based here in LA and they get busy. They've been smart enough and strategic in getting their stuff in the hands of athletes and musicians. And you know, I like a, a decent amount of their stuff here. Jason Tatum is rocking the denim button up. He's also rocking their denim pants, which is sort of two-tone, multi-layered uh pant. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. The Jordan 1 hype royal you know jordan one is it's hard to get hyped about anybody doing that at this point but i like that this is giving you a sort of dickies look you know a blue collar type of look if you will i'm, I'm into that because you don't really see a lot of that Devin booker does this every now and again but you don't see it a lot and so i'm into this like not as fitted you know it's sized up i'm into that and then the louis glasses i'm feeling the most out of all of this because, you know, it evokes like a sort of Scarface 80s, back when sunglasses were actually really dope. So I'm actually copping this fit. Jason Tatum looks good. Last uh, but not least, the guy who I think so far has been the MVP of the finals, Steph Curry. Uh, he has just been incredible. He's been the best version of himself, and we got to give props to Steph for that. Here we see him in a Michelle Meh cardigan. They're calling this the Legend Cashmere cardigan. Some Prada cargo pants and Fendi kicks. Uh, Y'all know how I feel about designer. This is fine. I guess it's a step up from back when Steph was doing stuff with Express, which I just thought was the worst athlete clothing endorsement that I've ever freaking seen. Bruh. This is obviously an evolution for Steph that we've been watching in recent years. Jerry Lorenzo dressed him for a playoff game in Fear of God recently. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I like the direction that Steph is going with, but I don't know. Like, this this cardigan doesn't really do anything for me. I don't like the fit. I'm not mad at the color. Same with the trousers. I'm not crazy about the fit of it. Um, and of course, you know how I feel about designer kicks. I I'm dropping this. All right, let's get into sneak peek. And first up, the first official images of what they're calling the Air Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. Essentially, this is the cement black Jordan, except they've changed the material on the tongue. The tongue is not a leather tongue. And also, obviously, the elephant print on the toe, they've changed that to a brown sort of situation. Look, I, I like when they try to get innovative with the classic styles. I've said that before on this show. However, this version, I, I, I don't know how you could 
see this and think it's an improvement upon the black cements, which, you know, is just the all, one of the all-time classic colorways, silhouettes, all of that. This ain't something I'll be checking for. These things are supposed to drop July 1st. But yeah, I, I liked the, the Mooselins. I like that variation of the three. Of course, the uh, Ama Maneri three is one of the best sneakers that Jordan has dropped in a while. So I love when they do switch up on the classics. This is just not one of my favorites. Next up, the Jordan Zion 2s. They've released the official images of what is going to be called the Voodoo version of the Zion 2s. Of course, you see the browns with the earth green. You see the earth tones, the fur on it. A lot of this stuff is supposed to evoke symbolism from Voodoo, which is a traditional West African. It's not really a, a religion. It's more so a philosophy than anything. I don't need to get all nerdy about voodoo. Uh, but yeah, I like that they're paying homage to Africa. You see the hemp canvas, the hairy exteriors, suede swatches make up the layered construction. This, of course, all according to sneaker news. Yeah, they're trying to evoke this sort of pan-Africanism, which I'm not mad at. I like that Zion is doing that. New Orleans, of course, being a hub of people who are descended from African slaves under French rule. A lot of those people are part of the voodoo tradition. I'm a Haitian American. A lot of people in Haiti come from the voodoo tradition. So this hits me, you know, near and dear to my heart just culturally. But eh. This is not a sneaker for me. I think the Zion 2 as a silhouette, just generally speaking, is an improvement upon the first Zion that dropped, which I thought happened to be a complete and utter disaster. But yeah, I don't know that I'll be lining up to get these voodoo joints. If you're interested in an eccentric shoe like this, be on the lookout for it. All right, that was our show for today. Make sure you subscribe to The Ringer's YouTube page. Make sure you're hitting that notification gong so that you are alerted every single Friday when Full Court Fish drops. And of course, make sure you like this video. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.